All right, so whenever you hear the sound of this bell, you should know that definitely something breaking, something trending, something, you know, entertaining is coming your way. And then I must say that welcome to Onia Digital Media. This is Inside Africa. This is the platform where we bring to bear happiness in Africa, you know, to entertain you, to inform you, and to enlighten you as well. My name is Paul Lingua, and if you're new to this channel, uh, kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell. If Africa is so dear to your heart so that whenever we drop content okay from the Africa perspective or from Africa you be the first to get notified yeah so quick one let's jump on to uh, what do you call it what is actually making waves in the traditional media and then uh, the international media as well yes yeah, so there is this mad rush for chewing sticks in Nigeria and uh, is actually disheartening and so pathetic you know having this incident happening in one of the greatest countries on the African continent if you care to know what um, this story is all about kindly follow me so that I take you through the steps okay to the end of the video you understand what actually is happening in an African country which if Care is not taken or attention isn't given it to affect other parts of the world now let's delve let's settle and delve into the rest of the story so quick one report has it that okay there is mad rush for chewing sticks in nigeria and the issue could be traced to the fact that um, there is high cost of toothpaste okay in nigeria and uh, because of that people middle class are finding it difficult to afford okay the purchase of this toothpaste and they resort to the use of the olden days yes so clearly um nigerians okay our africa brothers are moving back to the old ways of africans how we used to live as africans and it's undoubtedly true that you know um africans are noted okay or were noted for using chewy sticks okay all this were until the invention of toothpaste or the production of toothpaste actually moved all of these things out and people now prioritize okay um toothpaste over chewing sticks and some health experts will tell you that even when you paste there's the need for you to as well use uh, what do you call it um uh, the tooth uh, chewing sticks okay in order to remove some particle stains within your uh, your teeth or your gums those kind of stuff you get it and people still don't see the need to use chewing sticks but then the high cost of it okay has actually pushed nigeria some nigerians okay to resort to the usage of toothpick now let's look at why this is happening the reason is that um there is high cost of it and there's no any alternative that the middle class or the poor could even uh, tend to and per the report okay that uh, is available um it is established that it's only the rich okay in nigeria that now patronize toothpaste and let's look at it this way how many rich people do we have in nigeria if i say how many rich people do we have in nigeria i'm looking at the class comparing that to what do you call it uh, the poor class certainly you will understand okay or you will agree with me that the poor people in nigeria are more than the rich so what has the economy of nigeria become what has it become i get worried when our politicians okay come to tell us that they'll make the place better, they'll make our economy better, they come and things are in disarray. In which country are we living in? In which continent are we living in? In a continent that we fail to use our hairs? Sorry? Did you hear that? In a continent we live, okay, where we fail to use our hairs. It's so sickening that we live in a country that even the basic things that could be you know uh, used by people is actually not available for people to use people can't afford it and where are we as what do you call africans common toothpaste our people cannot afford no one cares about that right no one cares about that so is 
time that we blacks think outside the box. Find a way, or better still, go back to the way, our old ways of doing things. Because where we are headed to, the African leaders are moving the country from the old African way, okay, to the European way. If I say European way, I mean the living of the white people. Let me put it like that so that you will understand this, you know, properly. Yes, all because they say civilization and we are we are living our old ways of living. Now we are suffering. And trust me, we will still go back to our old ways of living as Africans. Undoubtedly. But what is staring at us in all the African countries? Economic hardship everywhere. Why? I mean, our leaders have failed us. Now, the reason is clear. Economic hardship. People can even afford... Okay, toothpaste. That is it. They can afford toothpaste. Now, I begin to wonder, I haven't cited this story, that if in in, uh, indeed people cannot afford, okay, to buy toothpaste, then how do they survive? If they cannot afford toothpaste, how will these people, African brothers in Nigeria survive? Just toothpaste. It means that our people are really suffering. The blacks are suffering. Our brothers in Nigeria are suffering. Our sisters, our fathers, our parents, you know, our grandfathers are suffering. All because the leaders have failed. They failed us to make the place comfortable, to make the place conducive for us to live in. We have instances where in other countries, in the African continent, some companies have moved out to their nearby countries to produce things so that they could export them into those countries. And Ghana is one of the countries where we had about 20-something and still counting companies living, you know, what do you call it, uh, the Ghanaian market. Some are going to Nigeria, some too are going to uh, Ivory Coast, Togo, you know, to establish the, their companies there so that they could produce over there and then do what? Export it because they could not afford some taxes in order to keep their companies running. So if the leaders have failed, okay, to make the grounds, you know, uh, good for companies to come and then establish themselves here and produce things for us here, ah, then we are failing and we are, we, 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 we are all in trouble. So that is it. Now, um, we must not forget that, okay, Africa is the only place that we have. And if our leaders are failing us, then we must think up. We must think outside the box to make Africa a better place for ourselves. Someone will see you chewing steak, okay, and then will attribute to so many things. I know these are some of the things. If people start going back to the old ways, what others will be thinking and perceiving is that, they are poor. It's poverty that has befallen them. But here can me today. That is not it. That is not it. We were living this way before the invention or the advent of this toothpaste. So if we go back there, or if you see someone chewing steak in Nigeria, you should not criticize or laugh at the person. It is our leaders, you, your brother, your grandfather, your uncle who has, who, who, who has made this place, okay, unbearable for us. And that is why we're suffering this way. Yes, yeah, so we must actually, you know, look at other ways, you know, to sustain our lives. If not, the leaders will continue to make things unbearable for us to live in Africa. Big up to all the Nigerians watching me today. And I pray and I stand with you that let's have a change of mind. Let's look at people or leaders that are ready to make our lives, okay, comfortable, make the place conducive for us to live in. This is where we draw the curtains on today's episode. My name is Paul Lingua, and this is Onya Digital Media. If this is the first time you're watching me, please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that whenever we drop new video, you'll be the first to get notified. This is the hat of Africa 
inside Africa on Onya Digital Media. I'm out from here.